Good morning, good morning everyone. Today I'm gonna be taking you through a day in my life in China. The area where I teach today is actually where I'm headed to show you right now. I live in the northwestern part of Chengdu and where I work three days a week is actually on the exact opposite side of the city. So uh, I'm walking to the subway to go to a town called Damian Pu. The way I like to describe it is it's a small town with a big city feel. I'm taking you there and along the way show you what a slice of real China is like. Hello. Hello. This little plot of farmland right behind me, it looks gorgeous. I pass by it on my way to work. It seems like every day I tell myself, today's the day I'm gonna get the guts, get the courage, I'm gonna go check it out. I still have not gone down there, but today is that day because I've got y'all here with me. I'm gonna take you down there. such a simple, beautiful lifestyle here. And you just get on the subway, just a few meters away, ride half an hour to the center of downtown Chengdu. Modern 它相当于是一个交通的一个枢纽的一个位置因为成都主要是往南嘛 and now, let's head off to the park. Okay, so back here, we've got dirt parking lot. Back here, we've got the, the subway line. All right, a little bit of farmland, people doing some work back here. And then my map is telling me to go down this road. We're really diving into a rural area now. I'll tell you what, if we were playing GeoGuessr, you give me this 360 view where I'm standing now, it could be anywhere in China. But that's the adventure you signed up for. I finally arrived at my next destination, Qinglonghu Wetland Park. This entire area is one huge mass of wetland, and a huge chunk of it is comprised by this park. As the largest wetland park within the vicinity of downtown Chengdu, Qinglonghu has been called the green lung of the city, and each path here is full of surprises. I turned down this little grassy alley. I wasn't sure if it actually led anywhere, but sure enough, at the end of the little road is this quiet little heavenly ancestral temple. That's Qinglonghu Wetland Park for you. What a gorgeous, spacious little gem this is. But now, it's time to head downtown. We're going to the mall. Less than a half an hour walk from the first plot of farmland that I went to go discover is this huge shopping mall. And my favorite stop in the mall is, of course, Starbucks. It provides a much needed energy boost for the rest of my day as I get ready to go to work soon. Yes, right here. It's mine! It's mine! No! It's mine! 
Goodbye, Joy. Goodbye, Samuel. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, Samuel. Goodbye, Samuel. <laughs> Goodbye, Samuel. Goodbye, buddy. <laughs> In my life in China, every day is a full day. Teaching these adorable kids is rewarding in and of itself. But I find that there's always new adventures to be had all around me, especially when it comes to Damian Pu, a small town with a big city feel, where a massive shopping center is just a 20 minute walk away from farmland. But I wasn't always fond of this place. It's quite far from my home. However, I find that if you live with an open heart and an an open mind and are willing to look for interesting gems, the people and the places you discover will greatly surprise you. I'll see y'all for the next great China adventure. <laughs>